Behold, the garbage can opener. You look down here and you have an oak handcrafted pedal. You push on it with your foot. It opens the garbage container. What we want to do is make a hands-free option for this bin. Now these, they do have pedals you can buy on Amazon, but from what I can tell the pedals are designed for a magnetic close. What we have is a self-closing mechanism that starts catching as soon as you get two inches away. That means we've got to have a, a foot pedal that would push it two inches away. I spent some time in the hardware store and came up with a hopefully a good system. What we're going to do is use this swiveling wheel. We're going to cut the wheel off and use the swivel and we're going to connect this lever arm to the swivel. I created this little foot pedal out of oak, which matches our cabinets. Take the, the movement of the pedal and, 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 and reverse it so that as you push on the pedal, it um, reverses and pushes on the cabinet. All right, we're going to create some markings of where we're going to cut with the Dremel tool. So I want this to sit just, just like right there. I need to be able to cut off all the metal that exceeds that height. So I'm going to just go like this. So I have a rotozip tool with a metal cutoff wheel. We're just going to cut according to the line. Now I am drilling holes into this swiveling hinge so that we can attach our lever arm to it. going to do now is route a slot in the trash pullout area of the cabinet that's long enough for this little pedal to push our lever. It's going to make some dust. Are we all good? What I'm going to do, what, I, what happened is I didn't account for the thickness of this, so I actually need a slot that is two and a quarter long to account for the thickness of this. So I will be routing it just a little bit more. I found that this pedal was just, just a small amount of wood on each side of that hole. It looked like a weak point that would break. So I took a piece of this angle iron that was left over and fashioned a, an angle iron to reinforce it like this. So that will go in like that and I believe it should strengthen that. And it is working. And as you can see this was the swivel that used to have the, the swivel wheel on it. And I used a metal cutoff wheel to you know, take off the wheel. And then we drilled holes in it and attached this aluminum angle piece here. and. We've measured it and we're getting this side does a throw of about two inches and this side will throw about three inches. Trash opener. Come on over here. Now what we've installed is a foot pedal so that you can open it hands free. Yeah, but and you still have to so like put never mind recording. Okay. This okay. is the foot pedal. It's been adjusted so that just enough to get the uh, trash, can, trash can past the self-closing springs. Do it again. So I'll show it again. I'm going to push it now. Let it. It hits your ankle a little bit. Though. Whee! I'm fucking up! Okay, here's how it works. In the very back is a hinge. When you push the foot pedal, extends through the dowel, transfers the direction over to this side, and the dowel here in the end pushes on the door. Is this a video?